the, uh, the building owner is uh, Charlie Folletta. He approached me uh, roughly a year and a half ago and asked uh, if I wanted to get involved with doing a plastic recycling project, and I said sure. So we took a trip to New York, purchased some equipment, brought it back here, um, set everything up, and, and uh, it's, it's kind of evolved over the last uh, 12 months or so. So everything that comes into the facility goes through a sorting station where we separate bags of different colors. From there, the plastic bags go to a machine that's called the densifier. It basically chops up the plastic bags into little tiny pieces. From there, we go over to the mixing station. We weigh everything out in kilograms and we put it in this machine called an extruder and that heats the plastic up to almost 400 degrees. It comes out of the extruder into a mold. When the mold's full, we pick the mold up put it in a tank of water, let it cool off, wait about 10 minutes and then open the mold and slide out the board or whatever it is we're making. Most of it's brought here through schools, libraries, uh, donations from individuals who have no other alternatives where they can get rid of their plastic. A full size six foot fence is about 30,000 plastic bags. The, the shorter ones, there may be a couple in there, they're about 17,000. We really would like to show uh, the rest of the world that things like this can be done. To our best of our knowledge, there aren't any other nonprofits in any other states doing what we do, and we'd like to be the, the, the model for that and kind of lead the way and, and show what they, they can do in their communities as well. We believe we've passed the crawl stage. We're beginning to walk now, and uh, maybe in another year we'll be on the, on the run, so that, that's the plan.